Hi everyone, in today's video, we'll be looking at how we can display the post count in an Elementor loop grid. So now let's jump right into it. In a previous video, which I'll link to in the description below, I showed how you can manipulate any dynamic data within the Elementor taxonomy loop grid using dynamic shortcodes. So I was able to pull in dynamic data from different custom meta fields, from pods, from jet engine, even ACF, and everything worked just fine. So now in this case, we're taking it a step further because someone asked that, how can you display the number of posts that are attached to each term in the loop grid? So this is what we're going to be working with. Basically, it's just a simple layout. We have the image that was attached using jet engine to the term. Then we have the title of the term, and then we are showing that there are five posts that are attached to this term. So as you can see, if I open up this term, it shows me that this is the archive page, location, United States, and then there are five posts attached to the term. So how can we do this within the Elementor loop grid? It is really simple if you have dynamic shortcodes. I'll leave a link to the documentation in the description, and it is the term documentation and all we did here is the shortcode called term count we don't need to put an id in this case because we're already in a loop grid that is giving us the id so this is how we're just going to put it so let me go over edit the template i'm just trying to show you that it worked with both the loop grid and the loop carousel so all of them will work so let me edit the template the widget I'm using is the image box widget, but you can use any widget of your choice as long as it allows you to add dynamic data. So now let me just go ahead and delete this and we'll start from scratch. So I'll click on the dynamic tags. I'll go down to dynamic shortcodes, click on it, click on the wrench icon. So to get the same layout again, all I have to do is open and close the curly brace to start the shortcode. The first one is the title, that is the name of the term, and just a term colon name. Then I think I put in bracket, so open and close that bracket. Then the curly braces to start another dynamic shortcode. Now say term colon, and this time I want to count. And that's it. That's how simple and easy it is. You don't have to do much work. Now I can just publish it and save and back. And we have our templates, everything working perfectly. That's how easy it is. The good thing about dynamic shortcuts is that if for whatever reason you just want to show it, you don't want to use it in a loop grid, then you just have to remember what is the ID of that term. In this case, let me go ahead and just choose one of them. Let me go back to the page, go to the events, event location, and I'll choose maybe Argentina. The way you can get the ID is usually at the top. You see the ID there, which is 62 in this case. So let me copy it. Copy. Now I can go back. So let me go to this page or no. Yeah, I can just go to any page. Let me just go back to the page that it was on. See, lab pages. And let me just create a new page. In fact, I will not even work with the Elementor. I work directly in Gutenberg here. So just say demo and term count at id equal to 62 publish it publish it and then i can view it on the front end and see i get the number two and that is the total number of posts that were in my term so that's how easy it is to use the count you can show it either in a loop grid or even anywhere in your page. That's how powerful dynamic shortcodes work. And like I showed you, it works 
in Elementor, it works in Gutenberg. If you even have breakdowns, it works there. If you have oxygen, it works there as well. And the easy and beautiful thing about it is that the syntax does not change. So you don't have to start trying to remember different syntax for different page builders. You use the same syntax on all your different page builders. And so easy. So if this video has helped you, please do leave a like, share the video, write in the comments that it actually helped you. And if you want me to show you any other thing that you can do with the Dynamic Shortcodes plugin, please write it in the comment section. I would love to hear about it and I'd love to share my ideas with you. So thanks for watching. Bye.